Hi everyone, Pastor Joe, thanks for giving me a minute. I hope you were either in church or watching online. The last, I don't know, 10 or 12 days have been incredible. We've had 13 people give their lives to the Lord and be baptized. We had two in Palm Bay, we had two in DeLand, we had nine here in Ormond. We've had 11 people partner with the church. We continue to grow. Uh, strong weekend, I don't know. We'll find out what attendance is, but around 33, 3400, we're, we're grateful for that. You guys stepped up big for the Pregnancy Crisis Center drive, the diapers and the wipes, that'll be going on all through February. Thank you for the canned foods. That's really a yearly project, but we do this big one for the Super Bowl. Thank you for stepping up for that. The Rafa House Initiative, God bless you guys. Uh, that will be up all week long. If you go to highlighted missions, you can give the Rafa House to stop sex trafficking to rescue children and young women. Uh, who are caught up in sex trade in the United States, Haiti, Cambodia, Thailand. This is just an incredible mission that not only rescues men and women, but gets the gospel of the good news of Jesus to them. So thank you for your faithfulness to all of this. Night to Shine was just an incredible success. Even though the last two years we've been limited by how we could do things, incredible. All the families that were ministered to, uh, all the love that was given out. Thank you to all who volunteered, all who sacrificed their time their energy, uh, their resources to make this one of our great successes. God willing, next year we will fill the building and it will be the prom of all proms. Thank you to Tim Tebow and the foundation, Christina Moore and the whole team that made Night to Shine a success. Now this weekend we'll be looking at the end of chapter two. And this is as the church is beginning to organize and the things that they put as first priorities in the church. You don't want to miss this. I love being your pastor and I'll see you somewhere, somehow this weekend.